हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई सी अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड पल्स एम्पलीट्यूड मॉड्यूलेशन पल्स एम्पलीट्यूड मॉड्यूलेशन इज एन अनालॉग पल्स मॉड्यूलेशन स्कीम इन विच द एम्पलीट्यूड ऑफ ए ट्रेन ऑफ rectangular carrier pulse are varied with respect to the sample value of modulating signal so pulse amplitude modulation is an analog pulse modulation scheme in which the amplitude of train of rectangular carrier pulses are varied with respect to sample value of modulating signal so let us understand this from this diagram where we are considering a message signal and the train of impulse signal so we have obtained the sample signal by using message signal and impulse signal so we will consider one more carrier signal which is the rectangular train of pulses to which this sample signal is convoluted to obtain the pulse amplitude modulated signal which is represented as s of t so here sample signal is g delta of t the train of rectangular pulses is p of t therefore the pam signal is obtained by convoluting g delta of t and p of t so in pam signal the top of each rectangular pulses is maintained flat that's why it is also known as flat top sampling so it is also known as flat top sampling so this is the waveform of pam signal here s of t denotes the sequence of flat top sample or pam signal and we can represent s of t as s of t is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity g of n t s into p of tau minus n t s let us take this as equation number 1 since s of t is convolution of g delta of t and p of t we have written g delta of t and p of t in terms of convolution formula here g n t s is sample value of g of t obtained at t is equal to n t s here t s is the sampling period and p of t is standard rectangular pulse which is of the duration tau coming to advantages of pam signal it is the base for all digital modulation techniques so pam signal is base for all digital modulation techniques coming to disadvantages it requires high bandwidth and also there will be effect of noise this is about generation of pulse amplitude modulation now let us see detection of pam signal the pam signal is passed through the reconstruction filter as well as an equalizer to obtain the original message signal so to obtain the original message signal the pam signal is passed through reconstruction filter as well as the equalizer this is how we can obtain the original message signal from a pam signal This is about pulse amplitude modulation hope you have understood the topic thank you